what I'm going to go over in this video is a theory that I taught hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sailors when I was teaching computers in the Navy. The theory is simple. It's called the Oliphant Theory. And it's O-L-Y-P-H-A-N-T. Oliphant Theory. It's a simple theory. It says one thing and one thing only. Now keep in mind, I was teaching electricity, electronics, basic digital logic, computers, and uh, when we went through, you know, electricity and electronics, we'd learned about electrons going through the wires. And they wanted us to believe, <laughs> catch this, they wanted us to believe that electrons were going through a light bulb so fast and the resistance was so high that it would heat up and emit light. Well, that's not the way it works, people, okay? Those things should not be called light bulbs. They should be called darkness collectors. Because what we have here is we have olifants. Really, really small guys. Just really small, small, small. And they have this, they're sort of shaped like an egg. They've got this way of gliding through the wire there. Got a little hat, little belt, little bucket. And what they do is they zoom out into the wires. Zoom into the darkness collector, AKA a light bulb, all right? They scoop up a bucket full of darkness. Take it and dump it behind the wall. Have you ever looked behind the wall? It's dark behind those walls. And these guys just zoom back and forth, dumping the darkness. Now, see, darkness is kind of like water. It likes to seek its own level. So if you take away the darkness up there, the darkness down here is going to want to go towards it because it wants to just level out. So what do you have? You have casting a shadow? No, you don't have casting a shadow. You have hindering the darkness's flow to light. Okay, what you have up there is less darkness down here, you have more darkness, you put your hand there, you're hindering the flow of darkness. You're not casting a shadow, you're hindering the flow of darkness. Do you understand this? It's a simple concept. If you go to light switch on Oha, and you listen very carefully, because you don't have to take my word for this, you can actually prove this. But you go to light switch on the wall and you turn it off. These guys are turning on those wires at, what, 186,000 miles per second. Can they stop when you flip that switch? No, 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 no. They can't stop. Some of them get sacrificed. That's why light bulbs or darkness collectors don't last forever. Because you flip the switch and you can hear the tiny screams of olifants as they cascade into the abyss because you took away the bridge. If you look at the bottom of the switch, if you open it up, you take the cover off, you cotton swab the bottom of the switch, okay? And then you put the swab onto a little microscope and you look at it, you'll see olifants. They exist. It's thick. Otherwise, it's just a gigantic conspiracy. These are not light bulbs. No such thing as light, just the absence of darkness. Now, it gets a lot more complicated that you can go into advanced olifant theory, which, frankly, I don't have time to go into right now. Uh, it gets into frequencies of darkness, the way filters affect the different flows of darkness and how parts dark. It's too complicated to get into now. Uh, quite frankly, unless you went through the first few courses, you probably wouldn't be able to understand it anyway, at least not to the depth that you would need to. Anyway, that's Oliphant theory, okay? I taught that to hundreds and hundreds of people in the Navy. I never met anybody that's ever known this before. One person back in 1977 taught it to me but I'm, I forget who that was and I forget whether it was a conversation we had or something we came up with I'm pretty sure he taught it to me uh, but since then I've never run into anybody else that has known that so I from 84 to 87 for almost four solid years there 84 to the end of 87 88 I taught it to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sailors and they went out into the world apparently that wasn't enough so now I'm teaching it to you all Australia, Ireland, Michigan, Indiana, and who knows who else is watching this. Those were just my subscribers I named. All four of them. That's the four corners of the globe. Australia, Ireland, Michigan, and Indiana. That's it. Uh, spread the word. Explain to people. They're not lights. They're darkness collectors. Have a great day.